Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to cover this just for historical purposes. Um, we all know that Obama went over to Cuba to increase relations. I tell you, I'm not really for this, but I do believe in the liberal version of this where it may not be perfect at first, but once they start um, seeing what economic freedom brings, eventually change will hopefully come to their uh, their area of the world and everything. And I know that this is Raul and not Fidel Castro, but you know, at least at some point, uh, relations will become a little bit stronger. Uh, I also believe with what Cruz said that, you know, Obama will not be meeting with the dissidents that have been tortured. And it is an unfortunate situation that when he goes there, he will probably not under any circumstances deal with any of those people or meet them or, you know, meet those current groups of people in prison or anything else. So, the dissenters at least. So, it's an unfortunate situation that, you know, two leaders of two countries have to come together, but, and, uh, you know how it is, folks. When the suits get together, they don't care about the people in that, in, who are not wearing suits. That's kind of the strongest way I can go about this. It's the same thing when you get sent to a specialist or a governmentalist. Um, let's say you get sent to a surgeon. or Right? Or, right? Okay. So if you get sent to a surgeon by your doctor, what does that usually mean? Well, it means the surgeon's going to want to do surgery. They're not going to tell you to put an ice pack on it and wait six weeks. Hell no, they want to cut it open and find out what's going on. First they'll do some x-rays, even though they sent the other ones. They'll order a CAT scan, and then they'll slowly walk it up to, yep, I can take care of that for you. Just like guys in suits and organized uniforms want to commit to more government and more government relations. They don't give a damn about those saying, nope. But it is what it is. I'm not speaking out about this. I'm just saying how it is. Not saying I completely agree with Cruz, but... When guys in suits get together, folks, it's about guys with suits. Guys in uniforms get together, it's about guys in uniforms. Remember that. And the easiest thing to remember is surgeons want to do surgery. So, it is an unfortunate situation, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so... I almost wonder how illegal it is for uh, the band to actually had played the national anthem of the United States. I mean, there are dissenters who probably would have been put in prison ten, not more than ten years ago, for learning that very song or that very, you know, theme. And now a band for the Cuban government has to train to learn that song. Unless, of course, they did it over recording and it just sounded like it, but listen, and you can judge for yourself. I don't know, it could go either way, folks. Notice something, ladies and gentlemen. Raul is not in any way, shape, or form giving homage to the Star Spangled Banner, ladies and gentlemen. Now, maybe they're taught to keep their hands at their side. I don't know what the situation is with Cuba. But it's definitely there, folks. So... I don't know how you feel about this. Um, I think it's a good thing for the future. I think relations with Cuba should have been stronger from the very beginning, and we should have even taken Cuba when the communists tried to do the Cuban Missile Crisis. I think we should have went in, and we should have dropped paratroopers, and we should have seized the island and been done with it. 
if it would have gotten 5,000 Americans killed, well, I'm sure whoever was left over from World War II would have still wanted to go in and kick some ass. I forget which generals were still around at that time. I think McCarthy was still around, right? I'm sure he would have been go gone into Cuba and kicked some ass if uh, the rest of these guys didn't want to. So anyways, folks, two communists meet in Cuba. What do they discuss? <laughs> American relations. <laughs> oh.